Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos. So in today's video, I wanted to compare the Louis Vuitton PMMM and GM agendas. So if you would like to see a comparison, I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have a few categories that I will be going through where I will show you, you know, the pros and cons of each planner in that category. And hopefully that will help you to make uh, your decision if you have been eyeing one of these planners. So the first category that I wanted to go through is to give you a quick overview of each one of the um, agendas. So as you saw, all of my ring agendas are in the monogram canvas. Now this one is the PM agenda or the small ring agenda. This is equivalent to a pocket size uh, planner and the inserts that you would use for this one are pocket size inserts. So the dimensions for this are 3.9 by 5.5 inches. You have a press stud closure in the gold hardware. Okay. And the inside is the cross grain leather. Now I do have my planners set up because I am actually using all three of the planners. It also gives you an idea of how I have them set up. Once I have the planners ready to go for 2023, I will post my videos. So be sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss out, um, you know, on my 2023 planner setups. So I'm also using this as a wallet right now as well. So you have the cross grain leather in the inside. You have your six rings um, in the gold hardware. So you've got three credit card slots here in the front. You also have a slip pocket. And then in the back, you also have a pocket as well and a very tiny pen loop. <laughs> we'll get to that um, in a bit. And uh, that is pretty much the overview of the PM agenda. Okay, now let's take a look at the MM agenda. So this one over here, again, is in the monogram canvas. It is the medium ring agenda, which is equivalent to personal size. So this one measures 5.5 by 7.1 inches. You have the press stud closure for this one as well in the gold hardware. So you do have six credit card slots. You also have a pocket here in the front. You have your six rings. Okay, and then in the back, you have a secretarial pocket. And then you have a pen loop as well. So that is the overview of the MM agenda. Let's move on to the GM agenda. So this is the GM or the large ring agenda, which is equivalent to an A5 planner. So you would have to use A5 inserts for this one. This one measures 7.1 by 8.7 inches. Again, you have the press stud closure with the gold hardware, okay? And when you open it up, you do have a pocket here in the front. You also have another pocket behind that. You have your six rings, okay? And in the back, I'll just take this out. In the back, you have this slip pocket here, and you also have a pocket here as well. As you guys saw, I do have a notepad that I actually just slip into the back pocket and it fits perfectly. So that is an overview of all of the three um, agendas. So let's move on to uh, the price. Now I won't give exact prices only because honestly price uh, prices seem to increase every now and then. So what I thought um, I would say regarding the price is obviously uh, the bigger the planner, the more expensive that planner is going to be. So the PM is the cheapest one. The GM is the most expensive. So again, depending on your budget and how much you're willing to spend, that will you know help to determine which size you'd want to go with. Okay, so let's move on to the next category, and that is the writing space. So let's start with the PM agenda. So I'll just flip over to some note paper. So as you can see with the PM agenda, you know, the writing or the piece of paper is very small. So if you have large handwriting, you don't have much space to write. It doesn't bother me because I have very, you know, I'm able to write very small. 
So I don't have an issue when it comes to that. But, you know, depending on what you need to write down, if you're going to a meeting, let's say, this may not be enough space um, for you to, you know, jot down your meeting notes. So that's something to consider. Now let's take a look at the uh, MM agenda. No, I have to see. Now, of course, as you can see here, um, you know, your... Uh, paper is bigger than the PM size. Okay, so just to compare, of course, over here you are getting um, more writing space. Now, if you write even, you know, bigger than that or you do need some more writing space, GM, uh, you know, has the most. So if I were to just flip over to a piece of paper, as you can see, I have a lot of writing space over here. Actually, even if I go to a meeting notes, you can see if I needed to write down um, notes for a meeting, I have a lot of space to do that with the GM agenda. So again, you know, depending on how much writing space you need, that would help to determine um, which planner to go with. Okay, so let's move on to portability. So when I talk about portability, I'm talking about, you know, do you need to carry the planner with you, uh, you know, whether that's to work or running errands, meetings, whatever the case may be. So you'll want to look at, you know, of course, the planner size. So when you look at the planner size, we're talking about, you know, the actual dimensions and also the weight of the planner as well. So w when we take a look at the PM agenda, this one is clearly the most portable. It's the smallest. It's the lightest. What I love about the PM agenda is it fits in all of my mini handbags. So whether it's my Chanel wallet on chain, and I do have a video sharing what fits. If you would like to see that video, I will link it in the description box below. It also fits in my uh, Lululemon belt bag. So that's what I just love about this planner is no matter what handbag I'm using, it fits perfectly. I can take it anywhere I need to. Um, you know, that, that's the great thing about this planner. Like I said, it fits in every single one of my handbags, whether it's my mini handbags, my medium handbags, my totes. Uh, it, it's it's perfect. It fits in all of my handbags. So this one is definitely the most portable. Now, when it comes to the MM agenda, now this one is, um, you know, still pretty portable. However, it does not fit in my mini um, handbags. So it won't fit if I need to take something small. It won't fit in that handbag, but it does fit in my medium sized handbags. Uh, so my Celine belt bag, it fits in there. No problem. Okay, so that works. It also fits perfectly in my Speedy 25. Okay, and I do have videos sharing what fits in here. If you'd like to see those videos, I will have them linked in the description box below. And it also fits, uh, you know, inside of my bigger tote. This one over here is from Teddy Blake. So, you know, it still is portable, of course, not as portable as the PM agenda, but like I said, it will fit in most of your everyday handbags. Uh, now, one thing about the MM agenda is it is um, heavier than the PM. So, you know, if you do need to carry this in your handbag and you're walking all day or you're running errands or whatnot, um, it, it can make your handbag a little bit heavy. It also takes up um, a lot of space in the handbag as well, more than the PM. So those are just some things to think about. And the least portable agenda would be the GM. Now, this one will not fit in mini handbags. It also does not fit in uh, my Celine belt bag. And I get asked this question a lot. Unfortunately, it does not fit in the Speedy 25. I have been told that it fits in the Speedy 30. So if you have that bag. So when it comes to the GM agenda, I tend to only, um, you know, carry big totes when I carry my GM. It is also um, a very heavy planner compared to the other two. So I wouldn't recommend this planner if you're running errands or whatnot. If you need to carry it to work and then it sits on your desk or whatever, that's that shouldn't be too, that shouldn't be too bad. But if you need to carry this around with you, it will make your handbag heavy. Um, you know, and it will take up a lot of the space. So again, when it comes to portability, I would say least 
Um, not too bad. This one is definitely the most portable. So that again takes care of the portability category. Let's move on to how much actually fits inside of each planner. So depending on what you need your planner for, that will also help to determine which planner to go with. The PM um, with its very, very tiny rings. Now, unfortunately, I don't know what the exact ring size uh, is for all of the planners because I don't know why Louis Vuitton does not state that on the website. But uh, these rings are very tiny. So, you know, when it comes to how much can fit, not a lot can fit in here. Now, in order to combat that, I have seen people um, it actually change the rings out. So you can uh, go to the Gilio website where you're able to order some Krauss rings and change them out. There are some videos on YouTube that show you exactly how to do that. I've never actually done it myself, but I have seen people do it and you know it seems to be working fine. So if you wanted to use this as your main planner, like I said, you can definitely change the rings out so that you are able to fit more. Now, this planner does have some pockets um, on the side. Are you able to fit, you know, an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper? Well, let's take a look and see. Okay, so this is an eight and a half by 11 paper. So I just wanted to see if I were to fold this, you know, into four sections. Nope, so I'll have to fold that even more, okay. So I can get it to fit in the back. Um, you know, I might stretch the leather out, but just to show you, you can fit an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper if you were to fold it up several times. So that just kind of shows you what fits inside of the PM agenda. Now, when it comes to the MM agenda, this is my main planner and I'm able to fit everything that I need. Now, I'm not currently using this planner right now. I'm actually using it to archive the inserts that I've already used for 2023. But as you can see, you know, you do have obviously bigger rings. So you're able to fit a lot more than the PM agenda in here. Um, you know, you also do have more credit card slots that you're able to use. Uh, your pocket in the back is bigger. So if you've got an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, you don't have to fold it up as much as the PM agenda and then it fits nicely there in the back. So that's pretty much what fits inside of the um, MM agenda. Now I believe the ring size with the MM is 25 millimeters. If you know for sure, please let us know in the comment section below. I'm just assuming that they're 25 millimeters, just depending and we're comparing with other planners that I have used. And then lastly, the GM agenda. Now, of course, this one obviously fits the most. It is the biggest. Um, it does have the biggest rings as well. So when it comes to an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, I only have to fold it in half, which is really nice. So if I'm at a meeting and, you know, I'm given a piece of paper or, um, you know, parent teacher interviews, whatever the case may be, I can just fold it up in half and place it here in the back, which is kind of nice. I also have, you know, this other big uh, pocket here in the front. Um, this pocket here, again, like I said, the rings are bigger. So um, yeah, you know, you have this big pocket here in the back. I can fit a, a large notepad, as you can see. So, uh, you know, like I said, you can definitely fit a lot more in the GM agenda. So again, you know, it has to do with what do you need your planner for? How will you be using your, your planner? And will you need, uh, you know, more pockets, more, you know, pocket configuration, that kind of stuff. Now, this one doesn't have the credit card slots like the other two do. So if you're looking at using your planner as a wallet, um, this one is probably not <laughs> your best bet. Although you can purchase, uh, you know, pockets like this one over here where you can put your credit cards. I probably wouldn't recommend Using it as a wallet, I mean, I don't know how I would feel pulling this out while I'm, you know, at the cash register and getting out my credit card. I just don't think that this one is made for that, um, which is why you'll see there are no credit card slots um, in the GM. So that's just something to think about as well. You know, how are you going to be using your planner? What do you need to fit inside of each one of these? Um, if you're looking, I said, like I said, at using it as a wallet, um, you can fit six credit cards in here. And then this one over here, 
Uh, you can fit three there. You can also purchase one of these credit card holders where you can fit more. This one is easier when you're at the cash register. I just open it, pull out my card, give it to um, you know the cashier, and I'm good to go. So that is the category of what fits and how will you be using your planner, which will hopefully help to determine which one works best. Now, last category I wanted to take a look at is the pen loop. So as I had mentioned at the beginning of the video, the PM agenda has the smallest pen loop I have ever seen in my life. I get so many questions, you guys will not believe. I kid you not, it's probably my most asked question. What pen am I using or what pen should I use um, with the PM agenda? So this pen I actually got from Amazon. I will go through my planner setup in more detail and I'll share that with you guys. But you can't just use any pen. It has to be a very slim pen to fit inside of this very tiny pen loop, which is, you know, another, um, you know, I don't know if I want to call it a con, but it is definitely a drawback to the PM agenda, especially if you like to carry your pen with you. So that's one thing to think about with the PM. MM agenda fits most of your planners, no, or most of your pens, no problem. Uh, the pen that you guys know I love to use is the Pilot Friction Pen. So that also fits in here, no problem as well. Okay. And then with the GM Agenda, same thing. Um, you know, you can pretty much use any pen inside of the pen loop as well. So it is a little bit of a tight squeeze. Uh, you also have to keep in mind, when it comes to the Pilot Friction, it does have the rubber, which also makes it a little harder to put inside of a pen loop. Uh, this is the Zebra Sarasa, I think it's called the, the Sarasa Grand pen. Um, that one fits in here beautifully, so that's the pen that I like to keep inside of the GM Agenda. But again, you know, if uh, the pen loop is of concern to you, uh, that is something to think about as well. I find that the MM pen loop seems to be the uh, easiest uh, and most versatile pen loop of all three. So uh, the big question becomes, you know, what planner do I like or what planner size do I prefer? You guys know the answer to that. Definitely the MM agenda as my main planner. I think it's the perfect size. I can still carry it in some of my handbags if I need to. Uh, the writing space is perfect. Um, it fits everything that I need. I don't need any more space than that. So, you know, I've been using this personal size, I want to say for over two years now, my favorite size to use as my main planner. Um, but that's just me again. Everyone is different. And I thought I would film this video to help uh, you guys make the decision of what size you would go with um, if you were to purchase one of these planners or really any planner that was A5 uh, personal and pocket. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where I share with you guys uh, pictures of my planners, my supplies, how I'm using some of my inserts. So I'd love for you to join me there. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. You guys know how much that means to me. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.